Hey everyone, I'm Justin Fisher in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen and we are with Chef Val from OUTU School of Community Medicine. And Chef, we're in a new year. It's a new us in a way, new you, new them, and we want to be healthy, right? You want to do easy things, you want to get it fast. And I think chia pudding is probably one of the easier things that you can do. That's what we're talking about today. Right, so great breakfast, great snack, really quick to put together. And if you do it the night before, or even several days before, it's do, in the yeah. refrigerator, ready to go. And so it's super easy. You're just gonna do like three tablespoons of chia seeds um, to about a cup of milk. So we'll okay. just go ahead and get this in there. And it's really important to give it a little shake about five minutes after you combine the, the liquid with the chia seeds because it does tend to clump up. And you can use whatever milk you choose. Yeah, we're okay. using an almond milk, but you can use any kind of milk that you want. And we're gonna give it a little shake of cinnamon. You could totally do some vanilla. Um, we'll do a little bit of honey. You could do some other minimally processed sugar like coconut sugar or just really whatever you, want whatever you yeah. have for Dalve, sure. Yeah. yeah, and so we're just gonna go right in like that and put the lid on it. And chia seeds, are, have a lot of really good health benefits, right? Yes, they are very high in fiber and really high in healthy fats that you actually want. So, you know, you don't want fried food fat that has a lot of saturated and <laughs> right. trans fats. Healthy but, fats, yeah. Yes, but we want these healthy fats. Okay, so you just give this a good shake. Okay. And then again, I would come back in five or 10 minutes and give it a shake again because it does tend to clump up. But at that point, you could go ahead and layer on fruit. It'll go down in the jar, but that's totally fine. Some fruit, some nuts. But these are some that I did last night. And so you can just come through and top these the with difference. some berries. Yeah, so it's very, good point. So it really does absorb the liquid totally and becomes different. very gelatinous. So it has a little bit of the texture of tapioca, but you don't have to cook it, okay? So it just absorbs the moisture. So some um, fresh blueberries, we're doing some uh, frozen mango and some walnuts. And so this health, is just yeah. ready to go right here. And these are a little bit of fresh and frozen, but you can do whatever. If it's mm -hmm. in your freezer, you pick it up, not to worry about it, throw it in there. And if you go from freezer to fridge, it's gonna be okay in the morning anyway, or the couple days after you make it, right? And I do know from personal experience, chia seeds are good in more than just uh, a pudding as well. Smoothies, you can put them in pretty much anything, just yeah. milk itself and do it. So these are the finished product, and we have some blueberries here. I'm more of a fan of blueberries, so I'm gonna go after that one. I would eat this, and again, several days before, really, really healthy, new year, wanna do more healthy things. Uh, no greens necessarily in here, but that's, not, that's okay, because this is not, doesn't have to be just a meal, right? Breakfast or a snack we were talking about just throughout the day after your irregular lunch or dinner, right? Right. All right. If you can find this recipe at cagerh.com and any other recipe that we talk about as well, really fast, really easy, really healthy as well. Thanks for joining us and you as well, Chef. Thank you.